Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see configure manual retention label policies in Microsoft Purview. So I through the Microsoft documentation from SC400 exam and we'll do the labs, whatever it will come. So publish labels so that users can apply them to their content. And when we publish labels to locations such as Exchange Online, SharePoint and OneDrive, users generally apply the labels to retain their content. A published label can also be used to apply a default retention policy to a location like a SharePoint online document library. So please remember the important things about published retention labels. So published retention labels can take one day to appear in SharePoint online and OneDrive. Published retention labels can take 7 days to appear in Exchange Online and the mailbox must contain 10, 10 MB of data. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, so I am logged on to the portal. I will go to Data Lifecycle Management. Here I am and I will go to Microsoft 365, I will go to Label Policies and I would say Publish Labels to Publish Labels from Manual Application. So this is what I created in the previous video. I will say Publish Labels now. Choose the labels to publish. I created one and that should appear here. Retention test, retention label test, SP retention label test case 2. I did it for 5 years keep plus delete. So I would go for here. I would say add. I would say next. I would define the scope. So what I'm doing is I am defining the publish to where it will be publish. Add or remove admin units or admin units or full directory. I would say next. I, I will do choose the type of retention policy to create. So locations can be specified dynamically with an adaptive scope using attributes or properties. Or if you know the specific target locations, you can select them individually from a list. An advantage of using an adaptive scope to determine target location is that it will automatically update where it's applied based on the attributes or properties you define. And if I go static, it says, I will choose locations containing the content I want to retain. If location changes after this policy is created, for example, if a SharePoint site is added or removed, I will need to manually update the policy. And if I go adaptive, after selecting adaptive, uh, which consists of attributes or properties, example, department or site URL that define the users, group, sites in the organization, I will choose supported locations containing the content I want to retain. The policy will automatically update to match the criteria defined in the scope. So if you want to manage the locations that you are applying or publishing these labels to, you can go for static. And if you want the backend engine, the compliance engine to manage, you can go for adaptive. So it is a lab, so I can go with adaptive without consulting anyone. But uh, in the live prod environment, you should cons cons consult and then make a decision about it. It says, choose adaptive policy scopes and location. I would add the scope here. What do I want to, what is the scope? So I got nothing here uh, when I was trying to find a scope. So when published, user in the organization will be applied to apply this label to the locations I, they choose. Choose locations to apply the policy. So if I add scope here, add scopes to see them here, I can set the location as well. It's not letting me. There is no scope here. Right? So if I go back and I do static. Okay, now, now I'm getting, let me choose specific locations. I am using the default one. I will go next. Now I will name my policy. Test retention, I would say publish. 
label policy. Okay. It says two labels to publish. One label will be published on your users. So your users can classify their content. I'll click on submit. It will take its time. And that is how you configure manual retention label policies. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.